Hey guys, 4 Tales 95 here, and welcome back to Wizard 101! In the last episode, we did some pet derby stuff. Not pet derby stuff. We we trained our pet a little bit. Got to know all the stuff around here. And yeah, as you can tell, we've got a new face cam. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to talk into that a little bit more. And yeah, one of my coworkers was very nice enough to give it to me because they weren't using it anymore. And it still works perfectly fine. So, yeah, I did train up my pet to team, like I said. Um, let's actually try out the derby real quick if we can. Um, I don't think really anybody's on. Yeah, we'll try it some other time. We'll try to see if we can get somebody on. So, quest. Let's go... Let's go find a quest, shall we? Um, since we can't really do some of the other stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's go do that. There's one person I've been wanting to talk to for a little while now. And that's over here. Penny Dreadful. My name's Penny. I just got here to Wizard City and I don't know what's going on. Nothing is like they said it would be. My parents told me all about how nice Professor Malister was when they came here and how I'd really enjoy his classes. I came here and he's gone. No one knows what happened to him. And even the whole deck classroom is missing. There's yep. just floating rubble. My application somehow got lost and I don't know who to talk to next. Could you go ask the registrar, Mr. Lincoln, what happened to my paperwork? Sure we can. Okay, let's go to Mr. Lincoln. Can we see... Yep, we can. Okay, good. I don't know where he is. Golem Court. Oh, yeah, that's where we started. Okay. As you guys can tell, sadly, all the Halloween stuff's over. I got lazy and wasn't recording, so, yeah. There you are, Mr. Lincoln. What's that? Hmm. No, I don't see any young student named Penny Dreadful in my books. Uh -oh. Her registration must not have been processed. You should speak to Headmaster Ambrose to see what can be done. Okay. Going to Headmaster Ambrose. That's really weird. Why would a student's thing not get processed or whatever it is? Okay, at least Ambrose isn't far. We're getting you, Penny. Hold on. Penny Dreadful of the Marleybone Dreadfuls? Oh, dear, that poor girl. Let me look around and see if it got misplaced. Headmaster Ambrose rummages through one of the many piles <laughs> of paper in his office. Yeah, there's one there, one there, one there. <laughs> Here it is. Her application got shuffled into a stack okay. of other paperwork. <laughs> good, good, good. I wonder if Gamma misplaced it. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> Wonderful. Please go and tell young Penny that we have her application and everything is in order. Awesome. Explain that I offer my sincere apologies for the confusion. If there's anything else you can do for her, I'd be most appreciative. Her parents were both students here long ago and we remember them fondly. It's just that Penny's arrival comes at an unfortunate time. Yeah. Because of Malastair and everything. Okay. They found my paperwork. Oh, thank you so much. I won't forget how helpful you've been. I'll see you in class. Thank Hello, you. wizard. Thanks again for your help earlier. I'm enrolled in classes at the death school now. There's no classroom or teacher, so I'm doing an independent study. Good for you. I need to write a report about different types of undead, and I don't know the first things about them. Could you help me with it? Sure. Could you draw different types of undead in Wizard City and let me know everything you can? Here are worksheets with the information I need. Just fill them out after each draw. Thanks. Let me do your homework for you. That sounds perfect. <laughs> Let's see what he has to You're in line for a pet derby game. Click on the icon above to open the Q status window for more information about your race. Okay, then never mind. Look, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's go defeat some lost souls in the unicorn way. I will meet. 
well, before I do that, let's remember to mark your location, and I will meet you guys there. Okay, Lost Souls. You are mine to defeat. I don't want to do that right yet. We'll go find our own. There's a couple. Okay. First battle of the episode. Let's do this. Let's do an imp. He shouldn't be too hard. He's from Unicorn Way. There we go. Yep. Um, defeat a skeletal pirate in Unicorn Way. Okay, let's go do that. Oh no! <laughs> be right back. Okay guys, from that battle we got a little hat that will... I forget what it did. Um, where would it be? Right here. It gives us plus storm magic right now, so... Right now I'm open to anything, because I really... I have to look, look into the armor and what does. Okay, there's skeletal pirates. Just what we need. We're probably going to be a dark fairy next. Speaking of dark fairies, got a dark sprite here in our deck. <laughs> One hit KO. Oh. Okay, we got in our a novice robe. What does this do? Plus death. Okay, and plus health. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. So I think we just have to go back to Penny Dreadful. Where's she at? Or is this still... I don't know. Let's go to Triton Avenue. I'll meet you guys there. Okay, Rotting Fodder. Okay, let's see what we got here. Go for now. Wait, no. I think, if I remember correctly, Myth is more powerful than Storm. Or than Storm against Storm. <laughs> yep, it is Myth. Resist. Okay. Now we can do the imp. He should be done after this. If it doesn't fizzle. There we go. There we go. Okay. Field Garden of Haunted Cave. I'll meet you guys there. This is just going to take us all around. Okay, guys. Here's a field guard. Um, let's use Dark Sprite on him. Oh, we fizzled. No. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Imp. Come on, don't fizzle. Don't fizzle, come on. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay. Now I can do regular troll. There we go. And then now I'm pretty good. Yeah. Did I take him out? No. How much health he got? Okay, he's doing electric snake. I forget what his name is. Storm snake. I don't know. How much you got? 67. Okay, basically anything. Yep, you should take him out pretty easily. Oh no. Why did things fizzle when I need them to not fizzle? Okay, he's doing what I... Oh! An interesting electric snake. I forgot about that one. Okay. Imp. You should do the job. Come on, don't fizzle. There we go. There we go. He's down. Any more? Okay, return to Penny Dreadful. And we got... Oh, we don't have... We're not level 10 yet. We should be almost there, shouldn't we? Um... No, we're not even close, are we? Okay, well... Let's go back to here. I did in a shopping district like a goof. 
And I should be able to just step back, yep. And here we are. Cool, it's a whale. Penny. Wonderful! Let me see what you found out. Penny takes the worksheets from you and reads them. Her eyes grow wide and she giggles. <laughs> Seasoning, serving size, cooking time. Oh no, I gave you the wrong worksheets. <laughs> These are for a report I was writing about the types of food we eat in Marleybone. <laughs> Don't worry though, I think I can make these answers work. Thank you. What? I can't thank you enough, Wizard, for all your help. I thought I would have a hard time finding friends here, but you've been wonderful. You seem to know about what's going on. Did you hear about Malastare in the Death Classroom? A year ago, he left here in a storm, and the whole Death Classroom disappeared. Broke right away from Ravenwood. Cool. And you were the last one to see him in the yep. Golem Tower. Is it true what they say? That he's plotting to destroy all of Wizard City? Sadly Why it is. Why would he want to do that? I hope he stays away from Marleybone. I want to go home someday. That reminds me. Could you do me a favor? No I one? need to mail a letter to my family in Marleybone. Do you know of anyone who travels throughout the spiral? If you do, could you ask them to deliver my letter home? Penny hands you a letter. Prospector addressed Z. to Desmond and Deirdre Dreadful. At 57 Chelsea Court, Marleybone. Okay. Oh, he's right over here, isn't he? Okay. We'll have to do his quest, too. No, I don't want to speak to you. I'll speak to you. Hey there, youngster. Anything old Zeke can help you with? You ask him about delivering a letter to Marleybone. Ah, oh, sure. That's no problem. I go there all the time. Let I me mean, take it off your hands. You give him the letter. Cool. Back to Penny. Easy quest. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Wizard. You're the nicest person I've met since coming here. Well, that's so nice. Okay. You're done. Now let's go back to Prospector Zeke and see if he has any quests, because he does look like he has quests. Well, I don't want to talk to you. Talk to Buster Zeke. Hey there, youngin. I see you're making quite the name for yourself as a helpful sort. That's good to hear. I was wondering if you could help old Zeke with something. Not too much to do, really. I just brought a package marked Dreadful for Marleybone. Same name on that letter you gave me. Hmm. You explain that your friend, Penny Dreadful, is a student in the Death School in Wizard City. Okay, then. This must be for her. Could you take it to her? I appreciate your help. Prospector Zeke hands you the package. It rattles and shakes a little bit and makes a strange noise. Oh, it looks like a pet. The little thing it said is a little pet. It was at least a pet item. Penny? You go to where Penny is usually standing and she's not there. You see her spell book lying open on the ground. You don't like snooping, but this might be the only clue to Penny's whereabouts. Penny's latest entry says, I'm so impressed with my wizard friend's example. I'm going to go into the dark cave between Firecat Alley and Cyclops Lane and see what I can learn about Malastare's whereabouts. She finishes with, I'm leaving my spell book here in hopes that if my friend finds it, they can come and help me out. Okay. A dark cave. Let's go. Um, just in case. Mark our location. I'll meet you guys there. Hopefully we can get in. Oh, yeah, maybe. We'll, we'll see. Okay, guys. Welcome to Firecat Alley. Now I went ahead and bought some crowns just to be able to play this with you guys because I want to go farther in the game and that's the only way we can get to Penny Dreadful right now so yeah it was just a couple bucks so it's not too big a deal and we can actually get further in the game now so I want to be able to cross without getting in a battle okay this place actually looks really cool there's a big old fire cat over there yeah this looks awesome okay skeletal warrior haunted minions yeah, 
This doesn't look too bad. Um, so now we can actually do some other stuff. Okay, that must be the dark cave right there. Let's go in and find out what Penny's up to. Entrance to dark cave. Oh, it's another deaf school thing, just like in... You hear Penny's voice from up the street. She's shouting for help. Help! Help! Come, Penny. Four Tails is coming to save you! Skeletal Warriors. Where are you at, Penny? Some more rotting fodders, really? Oh, there's Penny. You found my spell book! Oh, I got so scared. I forgot all my spells. You hand Penny her spell book and the strange package. You're a lifesaver. I should be all right now. I better get reading. I can find my way back on my own. Penny looks inside the package. Oh, my silly parents. They sent me a pet cyclops from Marleybone. They forgot that I'm allergic to cyclopes. You've been such a dear friend to me. <laughs> I want you to have it. Well, thank you. That was well worth it. A blue cyclops. Let's go to pets and see this. Um. Cool. Lady Katie. Okay, he'll hatch in five minutes. So, we'll go talk to Private Quinn. Since we're now able to do that. So, Penny Dreadful. Thank you. That was a very thoughtful gift. So, I will see you guys when I find where... Well, actually, Private Quinn isn't far away, it looks like. Yeah, never mind. We'll just walk to him. <laughs> I do want to have to say, Firecat Alley looks like a really awesome place to be. Kind of a China theme. Lava fountains. I think it's my favorite place to see so far. Okay, he must be over this way. It's taking me so far, so much time to get to you, Private Quinn. Where are you at? Right over here. Come on, Private Quinn. Ooh, I just noticed those are floating. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite so far. Hey, you there. Could you give an old soldier a hand? I'm Private Quinn. I was planning to meet some fire elf friends here, but they didn't show up. They like to have their fun with me sometimes, but with all that's happening, would you check on them for me? Sure. Head over to Fire Globe Theater where they live and see if they're alright. I'll wait here in case they arrive before you do. Okay. Let's go do that. This place is amazing. Oh my. Oh, there's a bunch of fire elves. Okay, yep. Ooh. Magma man. That looks cool. Oh no. What am I- I'm fighting a magma man. He looks pretty cool. He looks- He's a snowman. He's- Oh, I get it. Magma man, snowman. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. I love it. It looks awesome. There we go. <laughs> How much health do you even have? I didn't even look. 200. We'll use our minion here. The gold minion. Ooh. Mmm. Thank you for your help. Both of you. We gotta battle some fire elves, too. Oh. Cool. That was mine. Troll Defender. Okay. I don't know what else to do. I don't have any cards. Cool. Come on, Luke. Of course they're attacking me. Okay, they're not attacking me all the time. Good. I need to keep some health. 
Oh, I fizzled. Dang it. Balance. Give some boost there. Good. So are you too. Oh, no. Okay, troll defender. Let's try to take out this magma man. Fire elf hunters aren't really that strong compared. Okay, whoa, what are you using? Scorpion. for that okay so we got strawberry blonde strawberry and our pet um, let's not kill them right now um, let's get to this theater fire elf there's different kinds of pi fire elves cool Ooh, that sounded really weird in my ear okay oh really well now I gotta walk all the way back you just had to walk up to it that's all you had to do really don't 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 thank you <laughs> staying on the outside here okay that wasn't too bad Thanks to those friends, we actually got progress there. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Private Quinn, your friends are there. You're back! Let me guess, they were playing a prank on me. Private Quinn falls ashen when you tell him about the Fire Elves. Oh no, that's no prank. You don't know them like I do. Something horrible must have happened to the Fire Elves. Once, a Fire Elf saved my life with an arrow. His name was Phoebo. He said we'd be friends forever because their magic connects everything they touch. That's it. Bring me their arrows and we could find out what happened to them. We'll have to duel a few of them first. Okay. Well, it's pretty cool. We got a little bit accomplished in this episode. So... We're in Firecat Alley finally, and yeah, I gotta remember I'm talking to a camera again. <laughs> yeah, we're we're done with, done with some stuff. With Penny Dreadful, she was a nice lady. Got her application in and everything. So yeah, in the next episode we'll explore a little bit of Firecat Alley. This is an amazing place. I can't wait to explore it more, and I might do it off screen. Get those fire alveros. Yeah, it might take a little bit. So yeah, next, oh, and we got our Cyclops pet. I forgot about that. Let's check how it looks. Awesome. That looks so cool. So yeah, we'll have to train some of these pets. And see how they go. I'll probably do it off screen because that takes a little bit. So yeah, if you guys like this video, hit that like button down below. And also comment down below what your favorite thing about this is part episode was mine is definitely fire getting a fire cat alley um also hit that subscribe button it'll make it so much easier to find my videos once they come out so yeah we'll see you guys in the next video bye